Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When you need to sand in small spaces or along the edges of hardwood flooring where other sanders can't reach, the American Sanders 7-inch Floor Edger is the ideal tool to use. It has a powerful 1 horsepower universal motor with a vacuum fan for efficient dust control. Now, before you get started, we recommend that you wear protective eyewear, safety shoes, work gloves, and protective clothing. While sanding, we also recommend using a respirator and hearing protection. Prepare your work area by countersinking any nails in the flooring, taping over electrical outlets, and covering doorways and windows with plastic. Be sure to cover all air vents in the room, including intake and output vents. Before plugging the edger in, you'll install the sandpaper. Never leave the unit unattended without unplugging it from the power outlet. On the back of the machine, remove the wrench and unscrew the paper retaining bolt. Now, slide the sandpaper onto the retaining bolt, making sure the abrasive side is facing out, and then screw the bolt back into place. Do not over torque, and once secure, place the wrench back into its storage area. To operate the sander, check that the switch is in the off position before plugging the power cord into the provided extension cord. Align the power connectors, push in and twist. Then connect the other end of the extension cord to a grounded outlet. When you're ready to sand, tilt the machine, making sure the sandpaper is not in contact with the floor. Next, turn the edger on and gently lower the unit to the floor to begin sanding. The sanding disc rotates in a clockwise direction, so you'll want to sand from left to right, which is the direction the sander will want to move. The edger is an aggressive sander, so there's no reason to bear down and force the tool. Let it do the work. Throughout your sanding, be sure to empty the dust bag regularly. This is very important. A good rule of thumb is to empty it when it's about a third full. Slip the bag off the dust pipe and empty it by opening the zipper. On rare occasions, dust generated from sanding wood floors may contain certain floor coatings that can pose a fire hazard inside the bag, so never leave the sander unattended without emptying the dust bag first. Depending on the flooring, expect a piece of sandpaper to cover anywhere from 10 to 40 square feet before needing to be replaced. When you're finished, turn the power switch to off, unplug the machine, and be sure to empty the dust bag completely. Always remove the dust bag from the machine at the end of the workday, placing the bag outside of the work area. Prior to returning the tool back to the rental center, clean all debris from the machine and empty the dust bag to avoid cleaning fees. Also, double check that the wrench is back in its storage area. When you're ready to transport, properly secure the sander in your vehicle to avoid injury or damage to the sander. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rentals to learn more about the best tools for your next project.